Good morning. My name is Pete Butler. I am uh, a longtime member of USA Cycling, and I've been a Zwift user for about three years now. And today, I want to walk through some of the basics for how to get yourself connected to Zwift. So, if you uh, look at the uh, icon at the bottom of the screen, that is the icon for the virtual team that I'm a member of, and that is called Dirt Dads Inside Riding Trainers. We love uh, staying fit, we love Zwift, and we came together online and uh, have learned the ins and outs of the Zwift interface and platform together. So, why bother? Why, uh, why Zwift? And when you look at the makeup of the people that are participating on Zwift, it's a pretty wide assortment of folks. It's everyone from bicycle racers to triathletes, people that like recreational riding, folks that are just looking for fitness options, ways to get their heart beating, ways to work up a sweat and just to get into a rhythm of the day. And even folks that are just interested in video gaming because it is a big video game where you're actually pedaling a bicycle to interact with the game. A few of the reasons why I like to Zwift, it's fun, it's social, and the whole game is very immersive. Riding on a trainer indoors is unlike it's ever been. It's also safe. You're, you're not gonna run the risk of being on the roadways and you're gonna find that there's nothing dangerous about it. And it's also a great way to supplement your training plan. So whether you want to just lose weight, increase your power, train for a national championship, Zwift can accommodate all of those interests. So when we look at getting started, there's um, just a few things that you need. You'll need a smart trainer. I use a Wahoo Kicker. You can see a picture of it there. You're going to need a bicycle. I ride a Trek Madone. I put that on my Wahoo Kicker kicker and you want to get a Bluetooth heart rate monitor and that is the Wahoo ticker which I also use. There's a lot of opinions on which smart trainers are the best. There's a million options and they all intend to do the same thing. So whatever your budget is or your interests are, you're going to be able to find a trainer that should meet that. As far as um, connecting, we're going to get into that shortly, but let's go ahead and slide forward. You're also going to need an account on Zwift. So the way that you start, you're going to have to go to Zwift.com via a web browser. And you'll go in and you can read a lot of information about Zwift, but you're going to want to create an account. So you'll set all of your basics about who you are. And then you're going to enter your height, your weight, your gender. And Zwift is going to ask you for a credit card. They will give you a free trial for a week. And after that, you'll start paying like the rest of us. Uh, it's very much worth it. It's some of the best money I spend month to month. So setting up the account on Zwift, after you set it up, then you're gonna need to download the app. So you won't access Zwift through a web browser. You're gonna access it through an application. So the things you're going to need, you're going to need an internet connection and you're going to need a smart device. Smart device could be Apple TV, could be your iPhone, it could be an Android phone, Android tablet, iPad, PC, Mac. All, all of those can access the Zwift app and deliver it to you. It's uh, going to communicate wirelessly with your network. Work. So you're going to need to first download the app, make sure that you've got a device to, to run it from, and then you're going to be on, on your way. When you launch the app, you're going to see this screen here. If you haven't logged in before, there will be a login where you log in. Once you've done that, you're going to select the orange arrow and you're going to move forward into the app. And that's where the uh, 
app is going to ask you to pair your devices to their system. So, what are you pairing? Your smart trainer, your heart rate monitor, and your cadence monitor. This is the screen you're going to see. You're going to start by clicking to the left, power source, and you're going to move forward. When you move forward, your power source option could present just one option. It might be your smart trainer, or it could be your power meter on your bike if you've got one installed. So the bottom right, you see controllable. That is where you're gonna be interfacing with the um, Zwift engine, and that's where it's gonna change the, the sensations for when you're going uphill, downhill and it's going to change the resistance. I've got mine set to the Wahoo kicker. At the very top you see the power source. There I also have the Wahoo kicker. I could have very easily just connected to my power source. In this case that's a stages power meter but instead I've connected to the Wahoo kicker. The bottom middle where I keep my cadence that's where my stages power meter is keeping my cadence. And to the left that's my heart rate monitor. I haven't collected, connected it yet in this shot, but if you click it, it would appear as the Wahoo ticker, and I would select that. You might use a Garmin or some other device. It could be your, your Apple um, uh, wristwatch. So, you know, check those all out, and you can connect here. Next, before you get into the app and get rolling, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've enhanced your environment. What are the things you want? You wanna have a fan, a table to set things on, uh, maybe your phone, maybe other pieces and parts that, that you wanna be able to access during a ride. A larger screen. Some people do it on an iPad. Some people do it on a big TV. Some do it from their computer. Um, you wanna have earbuds, water bottle. You wanna have food and nutrition, a headband maybe, or a towel. In this image, I have a picture of my friend, Sean McAfee, who is a uh, expert Zwifter. And you can see him to the far right with his headband on, and he has a great man cave with all of the enhancements. And you can follow him on YouTube. So now you enter the app and you're presented with options. In the top center, you see that there are two worlds you can choose from. On the left, Watopia, the virtual world that Zwift got its start in, and then another real life world, in this case, it's London. There's many other options, but they only present two options a day, Watopia and one other. The next option is you can select a route that you wanna ride, then the ride type. Do you wanna do training? or do you just want to do a free ride? And to the right, you can see what upcoming events there are. You can select one of those, choose to ride it, and you can also see the calendar on the bottom right that's going to tell you um, what world is uh, scheduled for the upcoming days. And if you see another Zwifter who's on your list of friends, you can click their name and choose Ride With Them. So in this case, I could choose to ride with my friend John McCabe, who's at the top of the list. And once you've done that, you can hit start riding and you can be on your way. If you did select the training option, with training, there's a multitude of opportunities for you here. You can um, select any number of, um, of training plans. And with that, I think you're gonna find that there's a wide variety of things to choose from. They've got level one coaches that have USA Cycling certification that have added these training plans. And you might choose to do an FTP builder or some sort of interval workout. And you can rest assured that these are great workouts that can give you just a focused training plan that could be just a daily ride or um, a training plan that takes place over weeks. Here's an example of a Zwift workout, which is the 2x20 FTP builder. Those are really hard. Those are very difficult. But what you can see is 
here's how it's laid out in this graph. There's a warm up period, there's a rest period, then you've got your 20 minute effort, followed by a rest period, your 20 minute, followed by another rest period. But when you select the workout, it's gonna basically prompt you when you're supposed to be doing different efforts. You also see at the bottom of that screen, use ERG mode. ERG mode is where the trainer delivers the wattage that's required for the workout. If you select that, it's gonna deliver that wattage for you. If you don't, then it's on you to hold the wattage that's necessary. When you hit proceed, you're gonna load the Watopia interface, and this is where you're going into the virtual world. Your starting location is gonna be defined by what ride you selected. Here is my rider who's been launched right near the coast, the, one of the finish lines that's coming up in uh, Zwift's Watopia. But if you choose a free ride, this might be the place where you start. If you choose a race, it's gonna put you in a pen where you're with a group of other riders that are getting ready for the race start. If you choose a group ride, same thing. Uh, you'll be in a pen that's released on the advertised time. And if you do a training plan, it will pop you into a location where you can go through the, uh, the workouts. Uh, Zwift is a great big world. You can define how you want your rider to look. You can um, join groups and have rides with uh, a wide array of people from all around the world. Um, the pens are very interesting because it's a cool looking location. There's a giant board that's giving you information about what time the ride's going to leave and what the name of the ride is. And you're about to enter into a great experience. In order to get a whole lot out of the, the program, you also want to download an app called the Zwift Companion app. So now I've taken you to three places. Zwift.com, where you set up your account. Second, you've downloaded the Zwift app, which is the interface that gets you in the platform. And then the Zwift companion app, which I would say operates like a remote control for a TV. When you enter the Zwift companion app, there's lots of things you can select from joining activities um, and, and events that are going on to seeing what other people are doing um, looking at what their performance was, looking at your previous performances. If you want to look at information on specific riders, how long have they been Zwifting? You can tell by what level they are. You can see what their last activities were. And then you can look at different rides and get information about what the rides were doing. When you're in a ride, there's a remote control panel that can allow you to do everything from take a left turn or a right turn when you come up at intersections to um, wave to other riders and, um, and also to monitor all of your stats as you're proceeding. To further expand on your enjoyment of Zwift, it's kind of a, a great idea to build out a pain cave of sorts. And there are some people with some very elaborate pain caves. Mine is pretty spartan in comparison to these, but I saw some pictures that I thought I'd bring down and show on what your pain cave could look like. Um, so check those out. And you can see that people have stereo systems, big TVs, fans, all the things you need to be successful. And after you've gotten yourself assimilated and you're figuring out how to get around Zwift, I wanna invite you to join us to ride in any of the USA Cycling Series rides. We host four rides a week on Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Two of those rides are races. That would be Wednesdays and Saturdays. And two of those rides are rides, which are big group events where there's a lot of discussion. It's a good place to ask questions and to get to know the community. And those happen on Tuesdays and Sundays. And on behalf of DIRT and USA Cycling, I want to thank you for considering the, uh, the Zwift platform and joining us. And in these times where we need outlets to gain fitness and to uh, maintain good health, Zwift has become really a great advantage and a great place for us to go get our workouts. If you have any questions or needs, you can email me at PeteButler at gmail.com or you can send me a DM on Twitter at PeteButler. 
thank you very much. I appreciate you joining me today, and I'll look forward to seeing you on Swift.